story. It's a true story about one of the great, great, great sheikh of Morocco, of Fes. And this great sheikh of Morocco used to, on Thursday nights, you know, Muslim kids, they're Muslim, but you know, look, Muslim kids can also do haram things, right? You're not immune from the influences around you. And they would always just get drunk Thursday nights. Always get drunk. Every Thursday night they get drunk. And every single time, without fail, Sheikh would pass by and smile at them. Smile really big. So eventually, they kind of like fell in love with him. Like he's just he's showing us kindness. And you know, when a Muslim does this, especially when there's a culture of adab, عندهم hayat, like they still have shyness. Which is why we should never assume anything but that about people. Because if the Prophet Sallallahu Medina had a regular drunken sahaba that the Prophet Sallallahu said loves Allah and his Prophet, who are we to assume anything else about anyone? So he'd always look and he would smile at them. SubhanAllah, he would smile at them. So then they said, Shaykh, we'd, we'd just love to invite you. We would love to invite you over. Maybe let's do like a weekly halaqa. Because it's Jummah, but they still want to get drunk. This is the craziest part about this. But they had adab. This is the funniest part of the story. They had adab. So they said, yeah, Shaykh, why don't you come after we've kind of recovered? This is a true story. This is a true story. Do you know what the Shaykh did? Not only did he come, the period where they were drunk, he devoted that entire time for dua for them. Every single week. Then, this group of young people wake up one day, and they all look at each other. And it was kind of like, you feeling what I'm feeling? Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling it too. You feeling what I'm feeling? I'm feeling it too. What were they feeling? We are disgusted by alcohol. They couldn't even look at it. Look, they've had hangovers before. They've had hangover, they've had their fair share of, of throw ups and vomit. They've had that. They looked at each other, they said, We can't fathom even thinking about picking up this alcohol because of the dua of the Sheikh. And this is not a silly story. This is not a silly story. We have to believe this. The only reason. This is unfathomable to us, is because our existence is so nafsi, it is so consumed by an individualistic lifestyle that we cannot fathom that someone would spend their week making dua for a group that we would consider damned and then see the power of Allah in that. So my, my, my sincerest request to you, make dua for yourself, obviously, obviously, but don't forget each other.